what we're envisioning is a RIN network uh, uh, for the state and the local and the board that will look something like this. Uh, the network itself, okay, and I'll start with we'll the state functions. Uh, state, that's big enough for the back? Yeah. Bigger? State, state functions. Uh, state would have uh, bulletin boards, uh, email, uh, discussion groups, under email, something we call narrowcast. I want to talk to you about that. Uh, I drew this on the plane, so I want to. I don't want to. Here's how high tech we are. <laughs> so don't. Uh, <laughs> well, you know, you, you can can never use canned material with this because it's fresh. With every meeting you go to, I said, ah, this I'll explain to. Them. And and directories. Okay. All right. The local, if you will, local boards. Okay, would also have bulletin board capability. They'd have email and narrowcast, and I will, I promise I'll come back to that. Uh, they would have, uh, what's that next one? I can't remember. Who knows what the next one is? Uh, just all oh, discussion groups. I'm sorry, thanks, thanks. Discussion groups. Uh, they would have directories. And they would have uh, online advertising. Now, the first we we've got a real strong bit of advice to lose this word national advertising because it, it denotes a national MLS, and that's not what this is about. So we don't want to. I'll move out of the way once I get this wrong. We don't want to scare anybody into thinking that this is a, a national uh, MLS. So I'm going to refer to it as online advertising because it's really what it is, and it will appear to be local online advertising accessible nationally. So if anyone signs on to this in, and just digress for a second, if anybody signs on to this in Colorado Springs, if I'm a consumer in Colorado Springs and I sign on this, I'm gonna, I can look at Colorado Springs property or the entire world, but it's gonna assume like I am local stuff. We wanna keep it local, give the same local flavor, local look, feel, touch, and that's important when you start looking at beyond just the general listing and how do we help the brokers brand themselves further, establish more market differentiation locally. It's a local business capability because it's going to be all connected nationally to do the national thing as well. Uh, so basically four applications here, five there, and then up here, uh, NAR directory, uh, supermarket of the air, and I'll, I'll go through all of these with you, and then uh, online advertising. Now, I don't want to get confusing with this because you see online advertising in two separate places here, so I'm going to go like that. All right. Now, <clears throat> the, yeah, this, well, I'm, I'm assuming MLS fits under local. Is that that's a correct assumption or no? If it's not, tell me. That's correct everywhere? Yeah. Okay, good, yeah. So, yeah, MLS is down here. All right, thank you. Good catch. That's what he's here for. He's doing a good job. Okay. <laughs> Uh, okay, so what, basically, let me walk through a couple of the applications, and then, then we'll frame to the issues. Uh, oh, wait, I, I forgot one other thing. Hold on a second. Sorry, Ed. That's Internet up there, and those little blocks are consumers. All right, basically, the, the vision is that REN would establish a statewide network, which is a national network instantly. So by default, if you're on it, you can get anywhere in the country instantly. I mean, it's there today. Nobody might be able to answer you in, I in Idaho right now, but you're, you're on. But the ability would be to turn on the state of Colorado, and what that means is you would begin to distribute the means to access this network to people in the state of Colorado. Members, local governance, whatever, we could call the shot and, and roll it out. Applications that the state could use, and all these applications that you see down here 
I have listed them functionally. They're all up here on the network. When I use the term, when I use the term directory, it could be the, the physical NAR directory with a firewall built on that directory so you can search the NAR directory for anybody all over the country. You could go into the state of Colorado portion of that directory and have all the, the Colorado realtors listed. You could go into the Denver board of that directory, or his directory, and just look at the Denver board. So the directory, think of a Rubik's cube, multifunctional, all right, consolidated but basically in one location or several locations to allow you the national search, the state search, local search, okay? So the, when, when you see these applications here, even though I've placed them as to how, in, in my estimation, they might be used functionally, they're all resident on the REN network. It doesn't mean that we would start sticking servers, client servers in everybody's closet in Colorado. We would, we're proposing to buy that equipment and manage that equipment for the state of Colorado for this, for this part of the application. The next is supermarket, uh, supermarket of the year. And I must tell you, this was not on our radar screen at all when I came on board and we started with, with the RIN product suite. But what we found, I'll tell you the truth, is that every time I went to a, a potential person that wanted to put product on this little puppy here to get to us down here, they said, just tell us what it will cost to do this. And I said, I'm slow, but I'm not that slow. I said, man, there's a pony in here somewhere. And so what we're finding is if, if we'll put like a home shopping thing up here, we can drive some incredibly reduced pricing on all the stuff we need to buy to, to run our businesses. And they'll put it up here. Now, we've talked to software companies like Top Producer and Super CMA and things like that, because that's how I kind of slid into it. That's my background. I went back to them and I said, Top Producer, for example, Randy Purcell, I said, hey, I said, in addition to just putting the software up here, how about let a realtor test drive it before they buy it? Wow, what a great concept. So they're going to do that. So there's a lot of feature function here that is still being defined. And when we, when we first start with this, with this rollout and turn this stuff on in the national online advertising, this will be here. It probably will not be as rich as we want it because I'm going to need your help in how, how you build this, uh, you know, where it stops and where it starts. I don't want to put something out here that's controversial and it'll, it'll conflict with local areas. Uh, I don't want this to become a, in conflict with the stores, the MLS stores. Although some people have said to me, hey, yeah, there's a real play here because our stores are only open so many hours a day. Your system's up seven days a week, 24 hours a day. So maybe there's a pony here we can, we can talk through together. I don't know, and I don't want to make this certainly the issue of today, but I wanted full disclosure to tell you one of the potential things that could be up. And, and at the break or afterwards, Ben clearly is, is available to talk about that. That's his baby. Well, let's get to the meat of it in this, this online application. The vision for the online application is to take the listing data that sits down here on all of our MLSs and move a subset of that listing data somewhere else so it can be accessed by the consumer. That's always dangerous <clears throat> Excuse me, when you put this ball in play and use the word access by the consumer because it, it smacks of control or lack of control. And depending upon who you're talking to, uh, there's an issue here. So we've got to be careful how we lay this off. And that's the reason I mentioned one of my to-dos today is to find out what the next step is with a broker and how you talk to them about this. But this is not, if, if this is perceived as giving the information away and losing control, then we've lost the day, we've lost the battle. It must be perceived as in another way to reach the customer. People are already doing this. The big problem, though, is if you're the consumer, and I'll put my customer hat on, how do I use it? How do I search three or 400 different home pages? If I'm interested in moving to Colorado, and I'm interested in moving to Colorado Springs, I'd like to know what's available in Colorado Springs. Not, only, not what's available by the ABC company or the XYZ company in Colorado Springs. And I'm, maybe I could even live with that, but they're in different formats, and they don't look the same. So now I have more work on my side. How do I balance it? How do I understand? How do I make sense of it? Okay. The, the research that we've done has told us a couple things. If we're going to do this as an industry, has told us, one, we need a critical mass of listings online, lots and lots of listings. 
you cannot say in Colorado Springs we have listings if there are 50 listings or 25 listings in Colorado Springs. Consumers will not use them. So you have to have a critical mass of listings. I don't know what their critical mass is. My proposal said 100%. Seemed logical to me. I don't know. But, <laughs> but, there's, <laughs> but there's, there's some meaningful number. You're going to be better positioned in the room to tell me that. I just don't want to launch this thing if it doesn't have a chance of succeeding. So there's got to be a, some chunk of listings that go up here for every MLS that participates. And, and in my mind's eye, if an MLS for their local market area cannot commit 25, 30 percent of their listings, don't do it. Let's pass. It's, it's a waste of time and effort and money. And, and we, got, we have bigger fish to fry, all of us. So there's, that's my bottom line level. So maybe somewhere, be, somewhere between that and 100 percent is, is what it should be. You've got to tell me. Now, I think if we pull this off and get the critical mass online now, all right, it doesn't mean you have to have 70 or 100 percent of your listings on forever. Once you establish this place as the place to go for real estate information, the place to go to meet your realtor, not just to look at listings, then you've captured that in the customer's eye. So a year from now, maybe the broker only wants to put on 30% of their listings, just the ones they feel they want to advertise. You can do that then because the customer knows where to go. It's a standard format. But until they do that, you got no choice. You got no choice. It just gets real, real scary if you try to put less up. But the objective then is to get a lot of this stuff up and get it up electronically. Okay, what do you do with it once it's up here? Well, it's on internet. You put it on internet. You, you'll have a pass through to RIN because you don't want to go directly to internet. You go to a pass through on RIN and there will be a client server up there that will collect the information, give local MLS the ability to take a look at it and make certain it's clean, and then you'll blast, you'll drop over the line and be on the internet. You do that, you have 20 million, 30 million, 40 million, I don't know, you, you read the numbers as well as I do, potential customers that can hit it from anywhere on the face of the earth, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Now the email capability I talked about earlier allows this person who has clicked on, searched the Denver multi-list, came up with that three-bedroom split-level house, and says, boy, that looks good. It's about $225,000. That's in my price range. Once you have the first 10 fields, field 11, there might be a question that said, would you like to talk to the realtor? Yes. Click. You could shift dynamically to the NAR directory, like that, pull down, or you could build it in this database as well, and we'll help you with this. Broker bio, realtor bio. Hi, I'm Matt Evans. I've been in the business 35 years. These are, these are what I do. This particular house that you're looking at today, let me tell you a little bit about it. Now, it'll be text today, but there's no reason why that can't be full motion video. There's no reason why you can't have sound in this. I mean, the capabilities are there. This is the empowerment I was talking about earlier, sir, instead of identifying and building local businesses. We'll give you the platform We'll give you the standards. We'll give you the means and, mot and motivation to communicate statewide. And we'll help you with those first 10 fields. All the rest of the stuff is up to you. Get real creative and go for it. And the Booz Allen team, we, can't, we cannot do this everywhere, but we'll do it with the first couple. Of, we'll, we'll work with the local MLSs on developing a local business model and business plan to make these full value businesses not just incremental ads on a fee. So I'm going to leave all this now and focus on online advertising for the rest of the day. I'll come back if you like, but that's what I'm going to focus on. The strategy then for the document you have in front of you and subsequently online advertising is thus. Why don't you take a second and read that, if you could for me, please. The reason I started out with listings in this objective is because it appears to be this is the one thing that we can prove coming out of the chute. And we have talked to a number of brokers and that if a, if, if a customer is waffling on whether I'm going to list or not list, as in FISBO versus the listing, or whether I'm going to list with company A or company B, the folks that have the web pages out there now, the brokers, the reason they're doing it is they, so they can say to the customer, and if you list with me, 30 million people are going to see your house. The message we're getting back is that has validity. 